ان الحمد لله نحمده تعالى ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده ربي لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد عباد الله Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with this blessed month of Ramadan. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has explained al-hikam and the benefits and the purposes of this fast and what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala expects from us. And from this is istighfar wa tawbah. Ja'a fi sahihain min hadithi Abi Hurairah radiyallahu anhu an nabiyya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qala من صام رمضان ايمانا واحتسابا غفر له ما تقدم من ذنب هو فاست on ramadan meaning he refrains from eating and drinking and following his desires man sama ramadan meaning he refrains from following his desires he refrains from disobedience he refrains from sins he abstains he practices abstinence during this month غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبي his previous sins are forgiven so you my dear brother in islam have to take inventory look at yourself take a spiritual inventory and look what you have from sidq ma allah from truthfulness with allah was sabr ala al bala and being patient was shukr and fi nafsik ya abdullah take a spiritual inventory what is it that you have from appreciation to Allah what is it that you have in your chest what do you own what do you possess from obedience to Allah and then look at that what you're missing look at your mukhalafat don't just give it a, a passing eye don't sweep it under the rug look at your disobedience that you are upon look at yourself give yourself an honest inventory be honest with yourself be honest with yourself be truthful Look at the sins that you have. Look at the disobedience that you have. Look at your shortcomings. Look at your deficiencies. Now is the opportunity to overcome them. Rarely, sins and disobedience have very bad effects on you and on us individually and collectively. And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala explains this in His book. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says. أَوَلَمْ يَرَوْ كَمْ أَهْلَكْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ مِنْ قَرْنٍ Don't they see how many nations we have destroyed before them? مَكَّنَّاهُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَا لَمْ نُمَكِّنْ لَكُمْ We made them establish and we gave them things that we haven't given you. وَأَرْسَلْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ السَّمَاءَ مِدْرَارًا And we sent the skies upon them in abundance and rain. وَأَهْلَكْنَاهُمْ بِذُنُوبِهِمْ And we destroy them because of their sins. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He destroys people because of their sins and their disobedience. جَاءَ عِنْدَ إِمَامْ أَحْمَدْ مِنْ حَدِيثِ أَبِي هُرَيْرَةَ رضي الله عنه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال إن العبد إذا أذنب نقت في قلبه نقطة سوداء Really, the servant, if he does an act of the disobedience If he falls into his sin, a black dot is poked in his heart. فَإِنْ تَابَ وَنَزَعَ وَاسْتَغْفَرَ سُقِلَ قَلْبُ But if he leaves the sin, he repents and he leaves it. And he asks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. سُقِلَ قَلْبُ His heart is purified and is removed from these black, these black dots. 
وَإِنْ زَادَ زِيدَتْ And if he increases and goes back to it, then the black dots, they come back over his heart. حَتَّى يَعْلُوا وَقَلْبَهُ Until they take over his heart. And this is the statement where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَهَذُهُ الرَّانِ الَّذِي ذَقَرَ اللَّهِ فِي كِتَابِ And this is the ran, this is the overwhelming of the heart that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in his book. When he says, كَلَّا بَلْ رَانَ عَلَى قُلُوبِهِمْ مَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ It has overcome their heart that which they used to do, the actions that they do. Look at your hearts, ya ikwati fillah. What is overwhelming with you? Look what you have. Take inventory of yourself. Qalit Zainab bintu Jahshin. Ya Rasulullah, anahliku, anahliku wa fina salihun. Qala na'am, idha kathura al-khabath. Na'am ya ibadullah. Zainab, she said to the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, are we going to be destroyed as Muslims? Are we going to be destroyed and there are righteous people amongst us? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, yes, either kathur al khabath if the disobedience and if the sins are in abundance, then yes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will destroy us. La tastabi'idu adabullah. Don't think that the punishment of Allah is far and is far-fetched and is unlikely. Ja'an di Imam Ahmed, lamma futiha al-qubrus. When this land of Qubrus, the Muslims conquered it and they overthrew it. الناس يقتسمون السبي. The Muslims, they started dividing the war booty and the slaves of this land. وَيُفَرِّقُوا بَيْنَهُمْ And separating between the people, the disbelievers that they overthrew. وَيَبْكِي بَعْضُهُمْ عَلَى بَعْضٍ And some of them were crying over others, the disbelievers that were overthrown and that were conquered. فَجَعَلَ أَبُوْ الدَّرْدَى يَتَنَحَى يَبْكِي فَأَبُوْ الدَّرْدَى He went on the side and started crying. فَجَعَهُ جُبَيْرِ بِنُ فِيرِ فَقَالَ مَا يُبْكِيكَ يَا أَبَا دَرْدَى He said, oh, جُبَيْرِ بِنُ فِيرِ He came to Abu Darda and he said, what is it that's making you cry? أَتَبْكِي فِي يَوْمٍ أَعَزَ اللَّهُ فِيهِ الْإِسْلَامِ وَالْأَهْلَةِ وَأَذَلَّ الْكُفْرِ وَأَهْلَةِ on the day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has honored Islam and His people, and is, he, has, he has humiliated disbelief in His people. فَقَالَ أَبُوْ الدَّرْدَى ثَقِلَتْكَ أُمُّكَ He said, may your mother be bereaved of you from this statement. قَالَ مَا أَهْوَنَ الْخَلْقَ عَلَى اللَّهِ إِذَا تَرَكُوا أَمْرَهِ How insignificant the, the creation is to Allah if they disobey Him. مَا أَهْوَنَ الْخَلْقَ عَلَى اللَّهِ إِذَا عَصَوُوا عَمْرَهِ How insignificant, how meaningless, how little the creation is to Allah if they disobey Him. بَيْنَمَا هِيَ أُمَّةٌ قَائِمَةٌ ظَاهِرَةٌ تَرَكُوا عَمْرُ اللَّهِ فَصَارُوا إِلَى مَا تَرَى While they were a nation. This Catholic nation, while they were a nation standing and triumphant, they disobeyed Allah and they came and they became to what you see today. For Abu Darda was crying for the Muslimin, for the Muslims beforehand. And he understood that if they disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he would destroy them and he will weaken them and he will separate them. نعم يا إباد الله قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم كما جاء عن جابر رضي الله عنه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال رغم أنف رجل دخل عليه رمضان ثم انسلخ قبل أن يغفر له May he be humiliated May he be belittled The one that Ramadan has entered upon him Then the month went out before his sins were forgiven, Nam Ya Ibad Allah, this month Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to return to him in tawbah and repentance to look at ourselves and look at our shortcomings and look at our deficiencies and strive to Allah to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. Don't just put it under the rug, don't just look under the eye naked, don't close your eyes on your mishaps and just think that because you do good deeds because you make salah and because you give sadaqah and because your name is Abdullah that you can continue upon sins and disobedience la wallah istaqif min nawmik 
Wake up from your sleep, brothers. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his aid and assistance. Alhamdulillah. Hamdan kathiran, tayyiban, wabarakan fi. Kama yuhabbu rabbuna wa yaraba. Ashadu an la ilaha illallahu wahduhu la sharika lah. Wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh. صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد يقول ربنا سبحانه وتعالى فاصبر إن وعد الله حق واستغفر لذنبك الله سبحانه وتعالى says be patient verily the promise of Allah is true and seek forgiveness for your sins seek forgiveness for your sins يا عباد الله verily the promise the punish the pro- the promise of Allah and the reward of Allah is true Sins require istighfar. Na'am ya ibadullah. And istighfar is for your benefit, is not for the benefit of Allah. Ya ibadullah. Sins, istighfar and tawbah, seeking forgiveness, is a solution for your sins. This is how you overcome your sins. Don't think that you have to do something else other than that. Don't put this off until you do something else. Don't put istighfar and don't put tawbah off thinking that you have to do something before that. You have to get ready and prepare yourself for a tawbah. Now, as long as you have disobedience, then you're ready for tawbah. And you're ready for repentance. Na'am ya ibadullah. Tawbah and istighfar has its benefits, ya ibadullah. Na'am. It's not a difficulty on you. But it's something that enhances you. It's something that you are in dire need of. It's something that beautifies you. It's something that strengthens your deen. Why would you delay it? Why would you delay it, Ya Abdullah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says in His book, وَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِهُونَ And repent to Allah, all of you jami'an. Tawbah is wajib upon all of the Muslims, those that are righteous, those that are not righteous, upon the men, upon the, uh, upon the women, upon the young, upon the old, upon the rich, upon the poor. Tubu ilallahi jami'an. Repent to Allah, all of you together, ayyuhal mu'minun, all you who believe, la'allakum tuflihun, so that you might be successful. Na'am ya ibadullah, what is it that you're striving in from these worldly affairs? Do you want success? Is that what you want? You want failure or you want success in the things that you're striving for? These worldly affairs that you're striving for. Wallahi thumma wallahi with tawbah and istighfar and seeking refuge and seeking forgiveness from Allah, you will find success. Do you believe in the statement of Allah when He says, Tubu ila Allahi jami'an ayyuhal mu'minun la'allakum tuflihun. Repent to Allah, all of you together. O oh, you who believe, so that you will be successful. There is no success. I don't care what you think you have from family, and from wealth, from cars, and from material things. There is no success for you. Why you live upon disobedience to Allah. But there is success for you when you repent to Allah. Your repentance, Ya Abdullah, is bigger than your sins. Your repentance, your istighfar, is greater with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than your sins. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, tubu ila Allahi tawbatan nasuha. Oh, you who believe, repent to Allah, a sincere repentance. Take inventory of yourself. Look at that which you have. And if you are مخالفت sunnah, look at that which you have in your life. That which is in opposition to that which the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was upon. Asa rabbukum an yukaffira ankum sayyiatikum. When you make tawbah to Allah, perhaps your Lord is going to wipe away your sins. Wa yudakhilakum jannatin tajri min tahtiha al-anhar. He will enter you into jannah underneath which rivers flow. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions about his Prophet Thamud that he says to his people, Ya qawmi. لما تستعجلون بالسيئة قبل الحسنة لو لا تستغفرون الله لعلكم ترحمون. صالح سس سيب يا قوم أمة people لما تستعجلون بالسيئة قبل الحسنة why do you rush to do the bad deed before the evil deed look at your life يا عبد الله what is in it that is in opposition to the religion of Allah سبحانه وتعالى 
you personally don't look right, don't look left, look within yourself. Take inventory, take a spiritual inventory of yourself, of what you have from good deeds and shortcomings. Look where your deficiencies are. Why do you rush to do the evil deed before the bad deed? Why do you continue upon disobedience to Allah? If only you would seek the forgiveness of Allah, so that the mercy of Allah will be upon you. Ya Abdullah, atarajuna rahmatullah. Are you designed the mercy of Allah? Are you designed the hope of Allah? Istaghfiru. Make tawbah to Allah. Na'am ya ibadullah. And Ibn Sulaiman, he says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran, Mabbik thirli wa habali. Fi jumlatin wahida. In one sentence, in one dua, Mabbik thirli wa habali. Mulkan la yambaghi li ahadin min ba'di. Oh Allah, forgive me for my sins and give me it gives me a dominion that nobody had before him. In one sentence, in one dua, because he understands that the one who requests forgiveness from Allah, he deserves all goodness and he deserves all kindness from Allah and mercy from Allah. Rabbik firli wa hat, rabbik firli wa atini, rabbik firli wa habli. In one dua, oh Allah, forgive me and give me. And he asks for the greatest of things. And when you want the greatest things from Allah, it's upon you to turn to Allah and take a spiritual inventory of yourself. Look at what you have. Contemplate. Don't close your eyes on your shortcomings. It's all going to be waiting for you. Now I'm not about the law. It's going to be all record. It's going to be waiting for you. Now I'm not about the law. Get rid of it now before it's too late. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says about himself, describing himself. هو رب ال... هو أهل التقوى وأهل المغفرة. الله سبحانه وتعالى أهل التقوى هو أهل ويستحق التقوى من عباده ومن اتقاه غفره استحق أن يغفر له. نعم يا عباد الله. الله سبحانه وتعالى هو أهل التقوى. He deserves from us obedience. He deserves from us that we fear him and that we obey him and he himself. Those that have the taqwa for him, he forgives them. He wa ahlu taqwa wa hu ahlu magfira. Naam. He is the one suitable in deserving taqwa from his servants, and he is the one also who wa ahlan that he forgives his servants, those who striving upon taqwa. Keep this in mind. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his aid and his mercy. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to uplift us in this month of Ramadan. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to wake us from the sleep that we're in. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from those that repent to him. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those who admit their sins. The small of it and the big of it. إِنَّهُ وَلِيُّ ذَلِكَ وَقَادِرَ عَلَيْهِ وَصَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَى نَبِيَّنَا مُحَمَّدٍ وَعَلَى آلِهِ وَصَحْبِهِ وَسَلَّمُ الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة